Rift and Callips in Under the Oak Tree. Mmm, delicious! One of the reasons we love Riften so much is because he matures through his relationship with Maxi. And let's be honest, there are definitely cringe moments where he says all the wrong things that horrify or hurt Maxi despite his intentions. In this video, we'll look at how Riften's communication skills improve, from asshole to smooth talker. Spoiler warning, this video covers the entire 193 chapters of Book 1. On the night of their wedding day, Maxi and Riften go to bed together for the first time. Maxi is terrified because he's practically a stranger. She already thinks Riften hates her because her own father forced him against his will to marry her. And Riften, well, adds to that terror by saying these ugly things. How could I, a lowly knight, expect to please the proud daughter of a duke? Ugh, cynical much? A marriage is annulled if it is not consummated. Do you wish to leave me? Speak now if you want me to dress and leave. What a way to ask for consent. Verdict, an asshole. Three years later, Riften returns from the Dragon Campaign to take Maxi back to his own land of Anatol. And if you thought three years was long enough to gain some emotional maturity, you'd be wrong. Nope. Riften continues to be a douchebag to Maxi when she asks why he's taking her to his castle. She's honestly just confused, but he snaps. My castle may not be as large as Croiso Castle, but it's more than enough to house a slight woman like you. I have gold if gold is what you want, damn it. You'll continue to live in luxury, so enough of your nonsense. It's clear later on that Riften was pretty nervous about not being good enough for Maxi, but she has no idea where he's coming from at this point. Verdict? Still an asshole. But life together at Calyp's castle softens things between Riften and Maxi. Riften tries to make sure Maxi is happy by giving her gifts, and when she thanks him, he replies, No need to be so formal over something so trivial. I know that life here is nothing compared to your life at Croiso Castle. But bear it for now. With time, I'll give you everything you want. He's still struggling with his inferiority complex, but at least he's nicer here. Wow. As time goes on, he even gets comfortable enough to joke with Maxie. When she is learning to ride a horse, he tells her to Squeeze your thighs to the rhythm of the horse's movement. Just like when you were on top of me. Maxie literally screams to interrupt Riften because she's embarrassed. Her reaction makes Riften laugh as he says Heavens, I haven't the faintest idea why you're getting upset. In bed, you were so- And then Maxi, even more embarrassed, cuts him off again. He may not be polite here, but this dirty teasing is to make her, and the reader, hot and bothered. And I think it succeeds. It's not just sex that Riften is interested in when it comes to Maxi. He also wants to spend time getting to know her, and he jealously asks Maxi to pay attention to him in Chapter 64. Since we don't have much time to spend together, I'd like you to focus on me and me alone when I'm here. Wow, a man like Riften actually expressing his feelings out loud in a clear way? Verdict? On the way to smooth talker status. When Maxi proves herself as a mage, Riften is forced to see that Maxi is strong and independent, with dreams of her own. Seeing her in this way makes Riften be vulnerable in return, as he offers her the lucky coin he's carried since he first became a mercenary. Riften tells her, I pray that nothing bad will happen to you, and that only good things will come to you. As part of their touching goodbye, Riften may be a man who lacks social skills, but he's developed into a smooth talker because he is honest and says what's in his heart. And when your heart is pure and good, it always comes out sounding pretty. After facing danger side by side and surviving heart-wrenching separation, Riften is finally able to bear his soul to Maxi. When Maxi confesses how worthless she thinks she is, Riften tenderly tells her about his feelings for her. I have had you in my thoughts for a very long time. Even when you knew nothing of my existence, I only thought of you. Give up, I told myself. What's the point of wanting something you can't have? That's what I resolved to do over and over. But my eyes would always seek you before I even realized it. It's as if my heart no longer belongs to me. It ceased to be mine the moment I met you. Sharing his feelings and the truth of who he is allows Riften to grow closer to Maxi than ever before and makes her open up to him in the beautiful reciprocity of an honest relationship. His words make Maxi and us weak in the knees. Verdict? Smooth talker. Are there other moments in the story when you thought Riften was an asshole? Or maybe other moments that made you swoon? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so we can bring more romantic content your way.